what's up everybody tweets here and in this video I'm gonna show you guys how to make custom melee damage so I did make a tutorial a while back how to make custom melee weapons um, so this video is gonna just cover just making the custom damage which I should have added that to the melee tutorial but I'm an airhead and I didn't so I'm gonna show you guys how to add custom damage to your custom melees that you've already made and then I'm also going to show you how to override vanilla weapons if you ever wanted to override a vanilla melee weapon so first things first what you're going to do is create your mod folder or go to your mod folder and your p drive if you already have one for your melee weapons whatever um, in there, I always like to put a new folder called Damage, um, and that's where I keep the config for all my custom um, melee damages. Same like when I do a, a weapon mod with guns, I have a custom fo a folder in there just called Ammo for all my ammo. So, to start, you want to make your custom ammo first. So if you go to your P drive, go to DZ, go to Weapons. First, you're going to see melee, well, go to melee, and then you'll see blade, um, blunt, powered, pick whatever. And it, you'll see on any of their configs, they have melee modes, default, heavy, sprint, and then these are ammo equals, these are the actual damages, the actual ammo, so they call. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back. So right here, underneath the three blade, blunt, and power, there's another config. You're gonna open that. In here, you're gonna see all the CFG ammo, melee damage, all this stuff here. So what you wanna do is you're gonna first scroll to the top. You're gonna create a new page just take this top bit right here from line 17 and up copy it over just like that so now after you copied and pasted that over now we're going to look for a damage state so this config is very big and it'd be a pain in the butt so what i like to do is i like to search and what i'll usually do is melee slash just like that and I'll hit enter until I find I hit it a couple times until I see what I see right here so what I see what you want to look for is damage applied type melee that's what you want to look for and you're gonna just take this section right here just like that copy it over and paste it to your config and then add in the top class melee damage just like this now you're gonna go through you're gonna change the name to this to whatever sample um, call this sample heavy melee whatever because if you want to make it super heavy like one hitters and whatnot um, and then you're just gonna go down once that's you've got your name go to health Damage equals bring that number up. So say you want this to be like a a one hitter on zombies. I'd say anything really like anything above 100, 200. I'm just gonna go 500 for uh, shits and tickles. Um, blood, I'll just go nah, 250 for. And then shot. This is you know what shot stun stun lock and stuff like that. Um, you can set it for zero if you don't want any stun lock or bring it up. Um, melee i'll bring it up to about 25 screw it now what i also like to do is i like to copy just this portion here paste it below like this kind of close that so it's got an extra bracket not fully closed but just so it lines up with class and change this to like super heavy or something because this will be the next this will be for like if you're like super heavy, like holding like a heavy melee, um, 
and then run in melee. So, and then you could up that number so it's a little stronger. I'll go 500 for that. I'll keep the stun lock there. And then I'll close it out like that. And then I'll just, yeah, there we go. So now we have heavy, which is just quick melee swing. And then you got your super heavy, which is the heavy swing. And then sprinting uh, swing. And then you're going to save that. Once you have that saved, you're going to go to your your config. And you're going to see or add this portion right here, melee modes, to your config. And then you're just going to change your classes. So you got your class names here. So you're going to take your first one, your top one, your regular heavy, and just put it for the top one. And then for your super heavy, for when your, your heavy swing and your sprinting swing will be the same of, on the second one. And then that's it. And you could change your range, but I, I usually just keep it the same. And that's, that's it. You just add that to your config to your melee weapon and boom, you're done. And then now, if you're gonna wanna do an override to a vanilla one, you're just gonna go to your P drive, DZ, weapons, melee, pick whatever you want, like blade, blunt, whatever you plan on overriding. I'll do blade, config, and let's just do the wooden ads for whatever reason. All you're gonna need to do is for overrides, you're just gonna take the top portion from line 15 and up, just like that, paste it over. Take wooden ats, couldn't fit, you can go just below that, just below their melee modes, because you're gonna be deleting some stuff. Go straight up to inventory base, because you're gonna need all that. Paste it just like that. And then you're gonna delete everything above melee modes, even scope two. Because all you want, all you're changing is the melee modes. It's gonna read everything else because you're keeping the class name the same because you're just overriding the vanilla one. So you don't need to change the class name for it. And you don't need to change, keep anything else, only what you're changing. So now that you copied that over, you're gonna go get your class names from your config from your ammo config or damage config. So go back to your damage config and get your class name to change it out. So default is the top one and then get our super heavy class name and use that as heavy and sprint and then boom. And then that's that and that'll change the wooden ads. Now I did for this config already I packed it already, but I have it in the file right here. So I have it separated. So I did a machete. This is the file that's going to be in the video. So you're going to have this file, and then you're going to also have the um, damage. You're going to have everything that's right here. So you'll have the whole folder, damage, everything. But once you're done and you pack it up, just go in game. Here we are. And we're going to spawn in our items. So, I did a baseball bat for my custom melee. Because I didn't feel like getting a new model. And I already showed you guys how to make melee weapons. So. Alright, and then I'm gonna grab a mach uh, no yeah, a machete. So M A C H T E. Alright. There we go. So now I have my custom and then my override. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring my custom first. And I'm gonna spawn in a zombie. 
And then I'm gonna hit it. Right oh, and then it killed it. One hit. Now you wanna do some more testing, so we'll do now I made this super heavy, so I'm gonna do a bear. Now it's probably gonna take a couple just standing hits to kill a bear. With the numbers that I gave the damage. Uh, yep. Yeah. But since I gave the sprinting one a higher number, I gave it a thousand. It should one tap it. the bear if I sprint to it. So let's get a bear. Kind of bad. Uh, and sprint. Uh, yep, yeah, there we go. One tapped. Alright, so that's your custom melee with your custom damage. Now let's test the override. So we got the regular vanilla machete. And same thing. We're going to bring in the zombie. And just test it. There we go. Now you know with the vanilla one, it takes more than one hit. So that was obviously, it worked. But we can always do the big test with the bear. And sprint with the bear. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Done. So now the, the override worked too. And that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. It's actually very, very simple. Um, if you have any questions, link to my Discord will be below. File to the video will also be below. And yeah, that's it. So thanks for watching. This is going to officially be my final tutorial. I have put in well over 50 um, tutorials now on YouTube, and it, I'm moving on to some other things, but um, my Discord will still remain open. Like I said in the last video, you guys can still ask questions. I'll still answer questions, but from here on in, I'm, uh, I'm officially done with uh, Daisy Modern Tutorials and Daisy Modern in general. It's been a long six to seven year journey it's been fun but it's time to move on but i appreciate everyone for watching and i appreciate all the support the past couple years and yeah like i said feel free to join my discord see you later peace